But if you get snow and you live in a place where you are fighting the snow and you're trying to look cute at the same time, you know how difficult that is. It's virtually impossible. All right, everyone, this week's style video is all about the basics. The basics you need in your winter wardrobe. If you are a girl that sees a winter snow, ice, slush, it's hard to get dressed in the winter sometimes because it's so damn cold out, we have no idea what to wear. I'm gonna show you the basics that you will find yourself wearing constantly that will be in your laundry and always in your current rotation. You will get your cost per wear out of. Let's get right into it. The very first and most important piece you need every winter is a turtleneck, a basic black turtleneck. You can get gray, you can get beige, you can get cream, but you need black. You will wear this nonstop. This is a great piece when it's cold outside, you put this on, you can put it on with denim. It looks great with everything. The key is to make sure it's kind of bodycon. You want it to be form fitted so it fits your silhouette. You can get these everywhere, okay? Nordstrom, Target, Sap. Nordstrom has a line called BP and they make great layering pieces for about $40. Anyway, this piece looks fantastic with high-waisted skinny jeans. Going for happy hour with your girlfriends? Basic black turtleneck, high-waisted skinny jeans, little booties, black jacket, you're done. You will wear this nonstop. Another great reason why you need turtlenecks in your wardrobe is for layering. So you turn a fall dress like this into a seasonal dress, into a winter dress. This is how you winterize your wardrobe. So you put a turtleneck with this, and there you go, bam. Now this is not just an outfit that you wear in the fall, now you can wear it in the winter. All your dresses that are sleeveless, that it's too cold to wear them, simply pop a turtleneck underneath it. It looks so chic, it looks so good, and a lot of people don't realize that's how you wear your sleeveless outfits. Your sleeveless dresses is with layering pieces underneath. Of course, you can get cream, gray, taupe, any color you want, but you will wear this non-stop. Number one piece I get all of my clients every winter. In your winter wardrobe, you need layering pieces. Not everybody wants to be in big, frumpy sweaters. I don't usually like to wear sweaters, and I think a lot of my clients buy sweaters. This is what I know 100%. When I go into someone's closet, people buy sweaters, big, frumpy sweaters, but they really don't wear them. They buy them and they sit. It's, it's really interesting. But layering pieces, people wear, and they wear them out. So every winter you need to purchase some layering pieces. These are the pieces that are fitted to the arm and fitted through the body. They tuck into denim really well. They tuck into leather really well. They layer under cardigans. They layer under sweaters. These are the pieces you will wear nonstop. And of course you want to get a cream color, some kind of body, nude color, and of course black. Okay, this one is Theory. I had it for years I wear it non-stop again it's ribbed it's you know very fitted to the bodice the thing about these pieces is you want to make sure that they have a little stretch in them they have a little bit of lycra in them so they contour the body so it's a very clean silhouette it's a very clean look somebody that doesn't want to wear a fitted look where it's a tight top and tight skinny jeans you don't really want that silhouette so you can put a big sweater on top of it a big cozy knitted cardigan and layer these underneath but super duper important layering pieces every single winter all right everyone another important piece you need every winter is high waist jeans okay if you don't have an event but you're running around with your girlfriends or you're going to dinner with your husband and you want to be put together but you do not want to get dressed up and really like dress and heels and all that stuff high-waisted skinny jeans not low rise I wear high rise where everything is really tucked in that is the look now not low rise you want your jeans to sit at your belly button or just a, a fraction below your belly button or a little bit above your belly button. That is a high waist jean where they fit right near the belly button and suck everything in. And if you've had a child, you if you haven't tried a high waisted jean, you will be obsessed. 
You need high waist jeans, it sucks everything in, it's fantastic. You need them in blue and black for the winter. Black is fantastic. Black high-waisted skinny jeans, a black turtleneck, black booties, a coat, you're good to go. You look dressed, you look styled, and you didn't even try. Like these three items, so easy. Turtleneck, black turtleneck, black skinny jeans, black booties, done. You look like, and do your hair, and then you look like you're styled. But this is something everybody needs every year, high-waisted skinny jeans. These are my favorite. So they're from ASOS. Okay, ASOS, ASOS, however you want to say it. And this style is called Ridley. I will um, put it up here, but I love these jeans. They're $40. You wear them all winter, and if you kill them, okay, and if, you, if they still have their shape and you can wear them again, then you're good to go. Another basic that I need every winter that I wear to death and I make sure all of my clients have is leather pants. If you are somebody that doesn't want to invest a lot of money in leather or you're somebody who doesn't like to wear leather, no problem. This year, um, the brand Commando came out with incredible leggings, faux leather leggings and faux leather pot leather leggings, which were amazing, fit the body, incredible. I did get them for a lot of my clients. Also, I got Spanx leather leggings for my clients, faux leather super duper successful all my clients loved it and it's not a huge investment they're a hundred dollars you wear them for seasons you will get seasons out of them they hold up really well and they look fantastic you want to get high rise these are a mid rise they're Alice and Olivia I've had them for years um, I hold on to them because they were expensive but really like I said high rise is everything holds everything in, sucks you in, makes you feel good, everything's nice and tight, it's not muffin top falling over, but you will wear leather leggings nonstop. So let's say you're going out with your husband, you're on a date night, it's friggin' freezing outside, you wanna get dressed, you wanna look cute, it's too cold to wear a dress, it's too cold to wear a skirt, and you are going somewhere where it's a little bit dressier than just denim, you wear your leather leggings, okay? Leather leggings, your cute turtleneck, tuck it in, okay? So you tuck in your turtleneck, don't leave it loose, tuck it in, okay? You can leave it loose if you want, if you really want that vibe, but it looks cute tucked in, especially if they're high waist. Tuck in your turtleneck, your leather leggings, and then a little pair of black booties. You look cute, you look styled, you look incredible and leather leggings dress stuff up. It's like, okay, I tried. I'm not just wearing my high-waisted skinny jeans with the kids out for a burger. No, no, I'm on a date night with my husband. So I tried. I've got my leather leggings on and I look styled. I wear these non-stop. They're constantly in my rotation. These pants don't owe me a dollar <laughs> for sure. But if you are somebody that doesn't have something like this, Trust me, you need it. Buy the Commando pair from Revolve.com. They're like $98. You will wear them nonstop. You'll be surprised too because the Commando ones actually have like the, the texture in them. So do the Spanx actually, where they really do look like leather. I'm telling you right now, you will be obsessed. You will wear them nonstop and you will be like, how did I not have leather leggings in my wardrobe? I am a hat person and I don't like to do my hair. If you've been following me any amount of time, you know I really am not a hair person, meaning I do, I don't, I'd rather do my makeup than do my hair. Every year I wear berets. I know that a lot of people love the beanie look and it is cute, it's very urban. I have beanies, I don't really wear them. I am a beret girl, I love a beret. It literally just, you put a beret on and then all of a sudden you look like you know what you're doing, you know? It's like all of a sudden I look like I know what I'm doing. I love a beret, especially when it's cold and you don't want to get dressed or you don't want to, you know, do your hair, but you need a hat. Hats every winter are really important. This is also a newsboy cap. I love this hat. I wear it every winter. Hats, 
Hats are something that elevate a look. They make you look like you know what you're doing. They make you look stylish and they're not expensive. They don't have to be expensive. Another item I think is super duper important is a jacket that doesn't look like a ski coat, okay? So this, this is my, okay. So this is my ski coat. It's the standard black coat we all have. People have the puffer coat, you know, whatever your version is of your carpool coat, your grocery coat, <laughs> you know, your errands coat, your, your basketball coat when you're taking your kids to their sports, you know, your everyday winter coat. Okay, we all have that, of course. But you need something else. Okay, and I'm not talking about your dressy coats, your amazing, you know, Lon Vaughn coats and, you know, your, your incredible coats. I'm talking about, we're, we're talking about basic AF stuff. We're talking basics, the basics. You need a coat that is not your everyday winter coat. A coat that has texture, that's, you know, a little bit long, so you're going to stay warm, that's a little bit dressier. It's not dressy. It's dressier than your ski coat. That way, when you're out on a date with your husband, your new boyfriend, your girlfriends, you've got your, you've got your turtleneck on, you've got your cute leather leggings on, but you're not wearing your ski, but you're not wearing your ski coat. Like, you know what I mean? It looks like you tried. You've got something that's a little bit dressier. This one is Max Mara. Okay, it's, a, it's got silk on one side, alpaca on the other, super duper warm. But this is my, I'm going out with my girlfriends. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a super, super dressy night. It's not a dressy night. We're going for a happy hour, but I'm not wearing my ski coat because I've got my leather leggings on and I need to elevate the look. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're talking about the basics, okay? Very important. And it doesn't have to be Max Mara. You can find like, you know, this kind of coat anywhere, but you know what I mean, right? You need a pair of booties. So we're not talking about your Sorel boots when it's really cold. We're not talking about your snow boots, a pair of booties. It needs to have a block heel. If your booties look like this with the skinny little heel, we all know that when there's snow on the ground and it's super duper cold, you can't wear these. You're going to kill yourself. It's not possible. So you need to have a thick heel so you can like actually have traction on the ground and move around, right? So you don't want to wear your snow boots. You want to look like you tried, like it just, you know, and we're talking basic stuff here, right? Where it's a thick heel, so you've got your balance, you're sturdy if you've got to go through a little bit of snow, but they're still dressy. These are rag and bone. These boots don't owe me a dollar. I've had these boots for four years. I've had them redone on the bottoms. That's how much I've worn them. They're kind of my standard boot in the winter when I'm running to my clients in and out of stores. I cannot wear this cute boot. This boot's just for like, let me go to dinner and feel amazing because you cannot move through snow with a tiny little heel. But this, you know, you can get out of the car. You can run in and out of stores. You can do a little shopping. So you need a pair of booties that have a thick heel. Again, it's cute. You've got your turtleneck, you've got your little black booties with the heel, so it's practical. You can move through the snow, and then you've got your leather leggings and your coat that's not your ski coat, so you know your style. My basics, everybody needs. All my clients have these basics, and you need them too. If you're missing one of these, hop on and grab it. You will be shocked how much you wear it. You will constantly have it in your rotation. Thank you so much for watching guys. That's my basics every girl needs for the winter. If you get snow and you live in a place where you are fighting the snow and you're trying to look cute at the same time, you know how difficult that is. It's virtually impossible. But with these few items in your wardrobe, trust me, it will go a long way and it will help you in the fight to look cute in the winter. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys soon. Bye.